Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I'm laughing or chuckling to myself because you just saw me looking just like this and I'm pretty sure I said it was gonna be like in a few days, but I decided house is kid free and I have some time that I want to use for filming. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on with Paige. That way, if you guys have teenagers and need some gift ideas, this could be out early enough to help you out. The kids only have one more week of school and then they are off for Christmas break and only two weeks, about two-ish weeks until Christmas. So it is just going by so fast. All right, so if you guys missed yesterday's video, I did share what my husband and I got for our daughter Paige, she is 17, what we got to fill her stocking, and today I am sharing with you what we got her for Christmas. So we do have, just in case you are new, four kids total, Paige is our oldest. For our gift giving to our children, we do about the same every year. We do something that they want, something that they need, something that they can wear, and then something that they can read, and then Santa brings a few gifts as well. So I am going to be sharing Santa's gifts in this video also. So I'm gonna start with Paige's need first, and I'm going to pop up a picture because her need was pretty big this year. Her room is a constant battle for organization. We've done a few different things to it. She prefers me not to share it, so I don't even think you guys have seen her room since we first moved in a few years ago, but for her need, I have the picture popped up. It is a desk. We did get this off of Amazon. She actually picked it out all for herself. She doesn't know that she's getting it for Christmas, but it was on her list as one of her needs, and we felt like, yeah, this was like a major need for her. She needs some organization going on in there. She does have a snake who is about to outgrow the tank that he has right now, so she just needed to rework her room and an L-shaped desk is what's gonna work best for her. So we did get this off of Amazon, so I can link it in the description box. If you guys hear that, it's dogs running around. Even though it's been a good two hours, maybe an hour and a half since I filmed the stocking video, it's playtime again. So this is all day. All right, so for her wear, I did pick a few things up for her, but we are giving her money because it's really hard to pick out what your 17 year old wants to wear. Like I know better than to go full on shopping for her for clothes, but I don't like to give just gift cards or cash money. I wanna give something tangible if I can. So we are giving her a little bit of money to spend on herself, but I did find a couple things, tangible items that I can wrap for her that I know that she will love. So, all right, so this first item that I am putting with her wear, originally I was gonna put it in her stocking, but as you can see, she's got enough to fill her stocking, so I'm just gonna add it to her wear, or maybe I'll swap these this out for her sunglasses, and the sunglasses will go to her wear, and this will go to her stocking, we'll see. It's being gifted to her regardless, but I picked out a necklace for her from the store Icing, and I did not realize, normally I go to Claire's, that's the closest one to us, um, which is a very little girl friendly. Icing is not. Icing is not little girl friendly. They have quite a few inappropriate items. I took Rose and Pearl to that store because it was in the mall and we were doing something else in the mall and they happened to see it and I was like, oh yeah, it's a jewelry store. Let's go in there. Don't, don't do it. Don't take your little girls into icing. It's very big girl-esque. But anyway, Pearl did find a necklace in that store, but it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I utilized um, the buy one, I let her not use as much of her money and she used the 50% off. And I found this necklace for Paige. So Paige does have a snake, as I mentioned, one of the reasons why she needs a little bit of a different setup in her room. But this has a little green snake um, coiled around a bar and it is a necklace. So I think Paige will really like this. And then I found these Ugh, either Amazon or Jane.com. I, I need to get better at rem remembering where I buy things, but this time of year, there's so many people that we gift to, um, em work employees, friends and family, our own kids, like just, I just, we knocked it all out in a matter of a week. Like we just sat down and got all of our shopping done, some of it in store, most of it online this year, just because of the craziness. So. 
This was either from Amazon or Jane.com. I'll link them from Amazon if I got them there. I'm pretty sure I got them from Jane.com though, but I'll have that website linked down below. I am a big fan of that website, but these are just little socks and they look like little kitten paws. How cute is that? Paige does have her own kitten. Her name is Mishka, it means little mouse. And so when I saw these socks, I thought they were adorable. I think Paige will really like those. And then this I know I got from Jane.com, but this is just a plain sweater. And it says, I think it says just a girl. Yeah, just a girl who loves books. Paige loves to read. She had quite the book list for her Christmas wish list this year that she had so many things listed that I sent it to different um, friends and family members. And then Mark and I pick some off of this list as well. So she should be set for reading all next year, like so many books, but it's what she loves. So I found this sweater and I thought it was the cutest thing and I got it in blue because I think that color looks really good on her. And like I said, it's just a simple, um, not super thick, thin sweater. So I know that she will wear this at least around the house and then to go with her wear because we did get the kids a few extra items uh, we're gonna let her like have some cash or pick out a few things of her own all right so moving on to read all of these i did get off of amazon i think we spent about 65 dollars on the read because we spent about that on the younger three as well they all got like some kind of book set um and then Paige, she wasn't asking for like a set she wanted different books so i got her five off of her list this is one of them, and it is The Frolic of the Beast. It has been translated into English, and it's a short novel about an affair gone wrong from a Japanese author. So again, all of these books I did get off of Amazon, so I can link them. This one is They Both Die at the End. And on the back it says, we here at Last Friends Inc. are collectively sorry for this loss of you. Our deepest sympathies extend to those who love you and those who will never meet you. We hope you find a new friend of value to spend your final hours with today. Again, these were all just books that we picked off of her wish list. This one is called Dead Souls. And on the back, it says, ever since its publication in 1842, Dead Souls has been celebrated as a supremely realistic portrait of Russian life and as a splendidly exaggerated tale as a to the Russian spirit and as a remorseless satire of Imperial Russian vulgarity and pomp. Next up, so this is yeah number four because I got her five, The Invisible Life of Addie of Addie Lore. I can't I'm having a hard time reading that with the stars and the glare from the sun. It's a New York Times bestseller. On the back, it doesn't really say what it's about. It just has the, oh, here we go, on the inside. So on the inside, it says what this one is about. A life no one will remember, a story you will never forget. France, 1714, in a moment of desperation, a young woman makes a bargain to live forever and is cursed to be forgotten by everyone she meets. That sounds really interesting. And then the last book that we picked off of her list, this one is called Demons. And it doesn't have anything on the back or on the front of what it is about, but there we go. Again, I will have a, a link in the description box. But yeah, those were five off of her like 20 list of, of books that she wanted. All right, if you guys watch my Costco hauls, you've already seen this one, but this was um, what we picked up for her want. She had several things on her want list. So this one is going to be from Mark and I, and she had this on her list last year as well, but they were already sold out by the time we like sat down and started doing our shopping, they sold out quick. So the second we saw them at Costco and when we knew that it was still on her wish list, we grabbed it. So she's been wanting one of these like in-home garden systems for a while. I actually, a couple years ago, I was thinking about getting like the tower ones, but with pets, I just wasn't sure how that would work. I do think this is really cool. So just a little bit about this on the back. It does remind you when to add water. It reminds you when to add plant food. It automatically turns the light on and off. Um, the pods are soil free and non GMO. They are pre-seeded. It has an energy efficient LED grow light in it. 
and it says sprouts and days, harvest and weeks, enjoy for months. And this is the Harvest Elite Slim and it comes with six pods. So we did pick this up for her. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. So I did get this one from Costco. I'll look and see if this same brand is on Amazon. Otherwise I'll find one very similar and link it. And then the two items that are going to be from Santa also off of her want or wish list, she requested a Lego bonsai tree kit. So that is what we got her. I think we got this off of, uh, or from Walmart, or did we get it straight from the Lego store? All I know is we purchased it online. So she did request this and she asked, I think they have, they might have a couple different colors that you can pick from. She requested the pink one. So we did get her the pink one. And this does say 18 years and up and it has 878 pieces in there. So we got that for her. And then the last item that we got that is going to be from Santa, I actually found at the mall, which was really cool because I was afraid to purchase one online and have it come in broken. So let me open it up real quick. All right, so I'm not gonna take it out of the box because I don't wanna risk not knowing how to put it back in here correctly. But she asked for a really pretty porcelain tea set. So I found this at a little store at Rolling, if you guys are in San Antonio, it was in the Rolling Oaks Mall. So this is the one that I picked up for her. It has the four teacups and then the teapot here. And actually I don't think you can see it, but it has a bamboo handle for the teapot. And it is, this is the print. There's the top to the pot, but there's the print that's all over it. Super, super pretty. So we got that and that will be coming from Santa. All right, you guys. So that is everything that we picked up for our 17 year old daughter. I hope you enjoyed this video. It gave you some ideas if you guys are still shopping for your teenage daughter. If you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.